Okay, hi, uh, it's Rob Tweed here from M Gateway Developments. I want to try and set a record here for the fastest iPhone application development um, within the space of the 10 minutes uh, for a YouTube video. I want to create a, um, a database-driven iPhone web application that looks like a native app and uh, is um, scripted using Python. Um, Without further ado, this uh, is going to be developed on an uh, Amazon EC2 machine that I've created and I've used this thing, the EWD installer. Um, you just need to follow the instructions on our website. You can watch a, a, a YouTube video. I've used these instructions to create uh, what's basically an IWD development appliance and runtime appliance. And I'm going to use I'm working on Windows here. I'm going to use WinSCP and Putty to access the uh, the machine. Um, over here on the iPhone, uh, the iPhone simulator, this is the IP address of my the EC2 machine. And if I point at that, I get this thing called the MDB Explorer, which is an IWD application. I've already initialized IWD, and I've actually created a small database. Oops. Um, with a domain called people. I'm using the MDB database that's built into the appliance. I've created two people, um, one called Rob Tweed and the second one called John Smith. Okay, so that's the data we're going to use to create a small uh, menu-based application. So we're going to call this demo. So over here in WinSCP in the USR EWD apps directory I create demo and I'm going to create my first page which is called index.ewd. To save a little bit of time I'm going to cheat slightly and I'm going to grab some pre-built text and put it in here. Just explain what this is. The first page IWD main tag, IWD demos, content page of menu then I'm going to have a touch icon and a start up image on this. So that's all I need in that. And we're going to create another one here. We're going to call menu.ewd, which is this guy here that we're coming from. Menu.ewd simply contains this bit of text. So it's not a first page, it's an Ajax fragment, and it's going to call a prepage script, which is a, a in a in a um, Python module called demo and it's we're going to run the create name list method. It's going to create the data for the menu panel which is this guy. Uh, the session name is going to be name list. The next page we're going to go to is show person and we're going to do go to that with a transition uh, slide transition. Um, so let's save that. The next one we need is our show person page. Show person case sensitive and show person is just this bit here. Again, not a first page, it's an Ajax fragment. It's going to have a prepaid script which is in, in the same um, Python module, the get method the get person method. Um, it's going to create um, uh, it's going to going to fetch the, 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 the value that um, We'd, we'd clicked on before and put it in a session variable called person name. So we should say the person you selected was person name. And we're going to put a back button on that so that we can go back. So that's that. Now we need to create our demo Python module. We change directories to USR local GTM EWD. And we create a new file called demo.py. In here, we're going to copy in this. So we import the EWD module. This is our first method for the um, menu uh, page, create name list. It makes a connection to our MDB database using our credentials, the local system. Uh, the query we're going to run is select name from people. So it's going to get all the names in the people domain. We're going to um, apply that. So we're going to uh, execute that. Uh, on the uh, the people domain running that query. Uh, the dictionary of results that comes back we then put into this uh, EWD um, 
uh, function, create IWD menu from dictionary. We put the dictionary in. This is the name of the um, attribute we're, we're wanting to uh, list. So it was the select the name, so it's the name. Uh, we were creating a, a session array called name list. And then in our get person, uh, it, we use this guy here, which gets the selected value from name list. And then we save that into the session using set session value and we're going to give it a name of person name. That should be everything we need. We go over here into putty. We have to be in this directory usr local gtm uh, ewd gtm gets us into the gtm environment. Now we compile all and the application was called demo. Now we go over here to our iPhone, new page, and we'll go in here. Um, our application was demo, our first page is index, so we'll use this guy here. And there we are, there's our menu. We click on that. The person you selected was Rob Tweed. Go back with that, John Smith. Um, if we want to turn this into a, a full blown Desk application on our desktop, as it were. Add to home screen, IWD demo. We'll add that. Here it is. Click on that. Now we we'll go straight in. There's our splash screen, Rob Tweed. And there we are. There's our application working. If we want to add another person to the menu, let's go back into the MDB Explorer. Log in. Six, seven. So our credentials on that. People domain. Add a new item. I'm going to call it three. I'm going to give it an attribute called name with a value of I don't know Jane Jones. No particular reason for that name. Just what I'm going to add. That's now added it. Now we'll go over to our demo and it should show Jane Jones. The person you selected was Jane, jo Jane Jones. There you are. Um, the fastest iPhone application uh, developed ever. Okay, bye.